fun. Hi guys. Yeah. Good. It's not even morning, it's not even <laughs> evening. It's good night. Yes. <laughs> it's also funny. It's morning here, evening. Oh, it's already 12, 12 midnight. Yes. Yes. Wow. So, how is everyone doing? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, welcome to the live, guys. Yes. I'm waiting to invite the special guests on our live. Right, okay. So, um, tell me about, tell us, tell them. What are we about to do? First of all, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. To all the moms out there. Yeah. How exciting to be a mom. Um, today, I'm going to introduce my parents to you guys. Um, For the first time. Yeah. I, have, I don't think I've ever done a video with them because obviously I live in Kenya. They live in the U.S. But today, you will get to meet Baba and Mama Sylvia. So... Stay tuned, you guys, and tell your friends about the live. Wow. And already we see people here. Timothy, good morning, everyone. Yes. Hey, Timothy. Thanks. Nice, nice to meet you. Greetings from Dubai. Place. So you guys see, wow. if you can see the comments at all, you can see Gerald and Becky Miller are the first comment. So make sure, guys, and go click on their channel and subscribe. My dad is possibly starting a youtube channel i'm trying to encourage him still because they're going to be doing some travels going to switzerland um coming to kenya to see us actually so make sure to go there and subscribe to his channel um and we'll try to help him post content so are you guys able to hear us and see us let's start there <laughs> let us know in the comment section if you can hear us and see us you know, we might be talking, but uh, there's no voice, you know? There's no sound coming out of our mouth. Yes. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Lovely. Thank you very much. So, mom and dad, can you guys hear us? <laughs> We're waiting for you guys. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, I can see people here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. We have Ivy. Thanks Hello for everyone. joining the live, guys. Yeah, Mary, we see you. Happy Mother's Day, dear. Kim, Kimberly, right? Kimberly, yes. Hello from? Belize, Central America. Wow. Nice. Can you read some? Yeah, chat -chat? sure. You know, I'm slow. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> um, Urban Bucket, Homestead. Hello from Northern Utah, USA. Thanks for being here on the live. Dorothy Will, hi to you. Um, Teddy is saying, hi, Corey and Sylvia. We love you. We love you guys as well. Thanks for being here. Um, Jacqueline is watching from Texas. My mom has a sister in Texas, so that's pretty cool. Um, Suzanne is saying, hello from Malta. Sure, we can hear and see. Thank you guys for letting us know. Um, do you ever plan to move to the USA? Carmen is asking. Um, we hope to definitely visit one day. Um, visa processing is hectic, so we're waiting for his visa. But um, yeah, we would ideally love to live like 50-50, half of our time in the US, half of our time in Kenya, and then traveling in between, right? Being a full traveler. But yes. He has never been out of Kenya, so stay tuned for when we go to... But I think I, I, I've tried. I've tried to go to Uganda. Oh, yeah. Uganda's bordering <laughs> but I, here. I didn't even go far, far yeah. from the border. So it'll be your first time outside of Kenya. Yeah. So I'll definitely take videos and keep you guys posted on all of his reactions. Um, Let me see... You can even just read their names. Okay. Yeah. Kimpa is saying hello. Gina, aloha from Nebraska, USA. Anessa Neti, much love from Zimbabwe. Thanks for being here. Nora, yes, I can see and hear you all from Mobile, Alabama. Um, 
I, I want to read all these comments, but I feel like I need to get my mom and dad on the live because I think that's why people are here. So let me go ahead and call my dad <laughs> because, you know, our fathers and mothers in technology are a little bit. <laughs> we've been, we've been, um, see, we sent them a link. Yeah, we so we just want to um make sure that they got our link and they can click it meanwhile let me just read this uh the comments i am mary ann hi how are you doing hope you're doing good uh how huh. mary asuko asuko from nigeria how are you uh by faith i'm kenyan in the in the netherlands hi how are you doing over there Love your content, new here though. Wow, Karibu Sana, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel. Monica, hello from Guyana, South, South America. Hi, Karibu. Christine, hello. Hey, big clean in the, in the house. Big clean. Because my mom doesn't have her phone on her, so. Oh. Carmen, how are you? How are you? So, right now we're calling Papa Miller. Hey, Dad, what's up? Have you clicked the link? Come here, Zul. Uh -huh. uh, come here. Come here. No, come here. Come this way. It says waiting for guest on our end, so. Come here. Babe, she's, just catch her if you want her up here. It's not putting you through. Okay, let me. We're trying to get our live set up. Honey, please yes. help. I see. We are just waiting for them to come. Okay, they're saying they're clicking the link and it gives them all kinds of options, yes. but then it's not joining our live. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, I think uh, we'll just have to use uh, maybe WhatsApp. Mary Jane is saying, Sylvia, I told you when you had 5K subscribers that you would make it. Aw, thank you. Yes. Oh, so guys, I'm here with Zuri. 
she's very very stubborn very uh how can i say don't leak me and she has really grown up she's so heavy well, hey buddy what have you been eating oh uh, um no 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 stay put Which that yeah, then you just click on that. <laughs> okay. Is it? No. <laughs> But see, I think it's just inviting them to the live. Okay, let me see. But it's not. So. <sighs> Dear. Zuri, say hi to the people. Say hi, guys. My parents can't figure out the live. <laughs> so right now we're working on trying to get our parents on the live with us. Honey Bunch knows all about it, how to do it. So we're going to leave it up to him. <laughs> Yeah, she's grown a lot, right? Say hi, Juliana. Hi, Juliana. See, that's just to end. So. so it works. Yeah. So what are they supposed to click? Okay, I think mom and dad need, can hear they just the need, live. They just need to click. You click on the link. Then it will just... Uh, and then it, it should show like this. I don't know if you can see it. Where it says join here. And then you just click join and it literally brings you right to the page. Let's try joining you. Maybe you can add there. Let me add. Hello, Zoe. We are live. Right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, that's how it should work. I just need to call that and see. Guest left. <laughs> well, that's, that's a bummer. Me. Oh. Let me call Papa Miller and see what's not happening. Okay. So, we... We tried to join from the same link we're sending you guys, and we sent it to Corey's WhatsApp. 
and he clicked on it and it said join and he joined the live so yes in your whatsapp Okay, when you click the link, what does it say? Troubleshoot a go live together in my It should be it should be it should just take them to like, well, let's to, not. try that one. Let me see something. The troubleshoot one. Do you want to go and play? You're such a cool kid. Okay, so when it takes you to our channel, can you just click on that live? But then did you click on our channel? Really cool. Good. Need some Okay. Are you clicking the live on our channel as if you're going to our live? And then what does it bring? Sorry guys, we're still trying to figure it out. Hey Sylvia, do they have YouTube downloaded on their phone? So there's a, there's, can they try to click the one that, that I sent? This is what they're clicking on. But maybe if they don't have, what this person is saying is maybe they don't have the YouTube app. Truth Social TV is saying, hey Sylvia, do they have YouTube downloaded on their phone? Oh, so where's yes, my dad's yes. phone? Dad, do you have YouTube downloaded on your phone? The YouTube app. But like the app, not just through the browser. Okay, you can use it. Okay, then go to the app store and download YouTube. Is Wayne there to help you guys out? 
They all fled like the 12 disciples, yeah? <laughs> My brothers need to be there to help you guys. But go to the app store on your iPhone, search for the YouTube app and download it. No, just download it. They're saying here in the comment section they must have the YouTube app. Nope, you put it on your iPhone. Someone here is saying freezing up, you guys. Can we switch to my battery? I don't think we turned on my battery. Oh. Go to sleep. Sleep. I said sleep. sleep. Dad, they're giving up on you. Someone is saying it's okay. Maybe they can join another time. Don't, don't put too much pressure on them. Chrissy, I don't give up easily, honey. They're coming on the live today. <laughs> this one told me it's so easy. We can it do it. Okay. And I you're right. Know, like, um, you're right. They, we, we give it a piece of they don't have the YouTube app, so it makes yeah. sense. Are you downloading the YouTube app, Dad? African child. Someone must help them, otherwise they may not understand it. That is very true. What, what about your mom? Does she has a YouTube app already installed? I'm sure she doesn't. If Dad doesn't, <laughs> then Mom for sure doesn't. <laughs> Hello, are look, you guys still there? I look so different today. I don't know if you guys can you've noticed something with me today. I I, I shaved my mustache. It's mustache. <laughs> mustache. Mustache. Wow, that's a new one. It depends. I'm a I'm from Africa, you know. I'm an African, so I do it the African way. I I deleted. I actually deleted my uh mustache do you need some help all right so it's it's me and you guys so um i i deleted my mustache oh so uh -huh. i'm gonna read um some of your comments here very very fast and uh as my wife tries to figure it out what's the problem trying to fix or troubleshoot so um an aneso much love from Zimbabwe. Thank you so much for watching. We have Nora. Yes, I can see my, I can see and hear you all from mobile L A L. Uh, we have um, Christine. Yes. Okay. Janice, watching from New York City. Love you guys. We love you too. We love you so much. We have Truth uh, Social TV. Hello from Atlanta, GA. I think uh, GA stands for. Uh, jo, jo, is it jo, Georgia? Is it Georgia? Or, uh, I can't remember right now. Jacqueline, our Kenyan celebrity couples. <laughs> We've really disappointed you guys today, but. Oh, jo Georgia GA. Oh, Georgia. Thank you so much for that, uh, Chrissy J, for correcting me. Guys, we just apologize for what is happening right now. We didn't uh, see this coming, guys, you know. But it's um, actually it's Mother's Day today. And uh, we really wanted to bring uh, my parents in law to come join the live. And uh, that's the reason why we are having this live tonight. Hey, Bichangas, watching from Kajulu Mambo Leo. Oh, Ruth Mambo, I know it's so late. And um, you being up until right now, thank you so much for staying awake. Imagine she's just watching this live around uh, my, my African village. Thank you so much. Gina, watching all the way from Canada. Hello from Canada. Yeah, hi. We have um, Mary Asukuo. Asukuo. I think uh, she's from uh, Nigeria. Corey, you are a happy person, and I like that. Yeah, I'm happy because I this is me. I don't try to be 
to be someone else, you know, I'm me then. That's why I just love to smile a lot, to laugh a lot, yeah. Maybe I might get more lives, you know. I was once told that if you laugh a lot, you are actually adding more years in your life. So that's exactly what uh, it's happening on the ground. <laughs> Lady, I just love you too. Many blessings from God. Hello from Alaska. Thank you so much for, for watching all the way from uh, Alaska. Hope everything is doing, everything's okay over there. Sweetheart. No, that's the name of the person. Not, <laughs> I'm not calling the person sweetheart. So, yeah, sweetheart, how are you doing today? It sounds like, hey, <laughs> it's like I'm saying, sweetheart, how are you doing today? It's 125, 125012. Okay, uh, Natasha, hello guys, I love watching you. My mother got me watching. Oh, say hello to your to your mom. Tell her that we love her so much. I can't believe that she introduced you to our channel. Wow. This goes to your mom and happy Mother's uh, Day to her. We have Jen, tell them not to feel bad. I wouldn't be able to do that either. Wow. I think um, something is uh, cooking. I think my, my, my wife is trying to make sure that um, they have the app. I mean, my parents in, in law, they have the app on their phone. We didn't even know that. We thought maybe they were, have, they were using the app to watch our videos, but it's like they were browsing youtube.com then going to our you know <clears throat> our channel we have gina nice my niece baby daddy is from togo how far is that from where you you live okay um actually togo is close to the like mid mid in Africa, so it probably it could be with aeroplane, it can be close to maybe four, four to six hours. No, six is it's a lot actually, around yeah, around four to six. I think so. Natasha, I will. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much. I just want to read these comments, uh, right now as you wait to wow. Ruth, had to stay up for the like. Now, Penda Sana. Wow, thank you so much for the love. Uh, that is uh, Ruth Wanjau. Thank you so much for staying up just to watch our live. Peaceful gym. We are watching from Barbados. We respect all the work you both do to help others who are in need. Stay blessed and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. You know, you, you guys are the reason as to why um, we are doing everything that we are doing. I think uh, that this Andrea. Oh, I see you, Andrea, again. Wow. <laughs> You've said like, you must come to see this live again. By the way, guys, I was, uh, I was on live uh, this afternoon with Andrew and uh, things really went uh, good. You guys can check me out on my on my channel, my personal channel, uh, Corey the Traveler. Corey, Corey the Traveler. Yeah, I, you know, for us, we roll the R. <laughs> yeah, so we roll our R. So yeah, we were having live uh, with Andrew today, and um, I, I think people really enjoyed our, our live. So if you want to see the live, just go to Core the Traveler, and you you will be able to see uh, the live if you didn't uh, see the live. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed the live. <laughs> I'm stalking you, Corey. Okay. Uh, Anita, hello from Atlanta, 
Georgia. Hi, thank you so much for watching. Catherine, happy Mother's Day. By the way, no, that goes to my wife, not me. <laughs> By the way, happy Mother's Day to you, Catherine. Anna, bless your brother from Boston. Uh, yeah, from Boston. Bless, bless you, brother. Oh, not bless your brother. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I usually have this um what do you call not 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 habit. It's always so hard to you know to to read hey, some hey. of the words. They're coming, we it got seems it. Like something is something <laughs> as it has cooked and yeah. something is smelling so good. To the guy who who told us to to have them download the YouTube app. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. I didn't realize they didn't have the YouTube app. Wow. So here they come, guys. In three, two, one. Oh, I need to. <laughs> there they are. Hi. 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 I present to you my mom and dad. <laughs> Gerald and Rebecca Miller, or as we call her, <laughs> Becky Miller. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Hey, how are you hey. doing? We are doing good. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we are here finally. Yes. <laughs> hey, we're can here. Guys, we made can it. Can you guys just set the phone down? or are you, Because your arms are going to get really tired if you're holding it. How long is this going to be? <laughs> um, probably an hour or two. There's only 200 people that are watching you, so. Oh my goodness. Are you able to put the phone yeah, in the laptop? Trying. Like, just stand it up straight. That way you can be more comfortable. Yeah, that'll work. We can have the comments here. Oh, yeah, sure. So, guys, this is my mom and dad. I don't think they've ever been on any of our YouTube videos until today. So if you guys have any burning questions so for them. We need a charger. <laughs> hey, Zulilo. You're a little troublemaker. Yes, you are. Well, but now we need a charger for that thing. Sylvia, you are a twin for your mom. Beautiful lady. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. goodness. Anne is saying happy Mother's Day, Mom. Aww, thank you very much. I've had so many nice Mother's Day wishes already, and I appreciate them all, and it inspires me to be a better mother every year. <laughs> well, you're a good mom. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So you have a lot of people watching here. I saw on your side notes coming out. Yeah. There's about 207 people right now. Oh, wow. Wow. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, Chrissy J is asking, how did you spend your day, mom? Well, we got up this morning and got ready for church. And um, last night, one of uh, the boys had gotten me some flowers, a nice bouquet of flowers. So this morning he said, Mom, you're all dressed up. You have to take a picture with me. So <laughs> that was one of the first things we did before we went to church. And um, we had a fellowship meal at church. So I was... Um, Fixing strawberry filling and cream cheese whipped topping on top of a big donut, homemade donut, for oh. some of our dessert. And then I made a like a fix and mix Tupperware bowl of salad to take along for our meal. So that's what I did this morning. Um, then we went to church, which is an hour's drive. Okay. And yep, yeah, that was a a happy way to start my mother's day <laughs> yeah very nice have you found the charger dad <laughs> I can find one if you can. yeah but now i'm figuring out how to charge it while it's standing up oh but i think i'm fine yeah we'll be fine okay 
Someone is saying here, Sylvia, how is the Manda Mano going? <laughs> I'm a different person on TikTok. So leave leave the Sylvia Bichango on TikTok. Don't bring her to YouTube. Whatever happens in Rome, let it stay. In Whatever Rome. happens in TikTok stays in TikTok. I'm a different person. It's not the same one. There, I just go and yell at Jebu Japati. So, um, Red Truck is asking, are you first born in the family, Sylvia? Nope. I am the second hatched. She's the second one. Yeah. Mom, tell them about all your kids. <laughs> How many kids did you have? Well, we had five children. And the first two were girls. And then we doubled our family with a set of twin boys. And um, then we had another little boy after that. So he's a big boy now. He's the 21. The twins are 25. And Sharon and Sylvia are older than that. They are 29. I'll be 30 and, in May. You're 30 in May, yeah. And Sharon is 31. 20. Yes. Yep. So someone is asking, spill the tea, mom. Was Sylvia a trouble, troublemaker? LOL. That is from Andrea. <laughs> Andrea wants you to spill the beans. Spill the tea. Spill the beans about Sylvia. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. boy. <laughs> this is turning into a roast very quickly. <laughs> a roast? <laughs> well, I don't know uh, everything about Sylvia now that she's left home, I'm sure. But um, I don't know what Bill's beans there are to spill really like she's asking like when i was growing up was i a troublemaker uh, <laughs> i don't know every child has their troublemaking sprees i guess and they're Mom, all you can different. just be honest i was a brat <laughs> <laughs> uh, i i remember more about the um uh, my pregnancy with you Oh right now, just thinking all the things I craved, and I was so amazed that when you got a little older, you had the same things. You liked those exact things that I craved during my pregnancy. So I always thought that was awesome. I that never knew that would happen. From day one. <laughs> Freedom Ast is saying hi from Ohio. Thanks for oh, being wow. here. <laughs> Did you get it plugged in? Obi, Obi, can you help me with that name? Obi Chambeshi. <laughs> I butchered that. Chambeshi. Chambeshi is asking, when are they visiting Kisumu again? I think you guys have something to tell the people about that. Is dad. <laughs> yeah, we do. Is we dad actually okay? do. Why is dad. <laughs> He's running dad off. really busy. I think he's camera shy. <laughs> Dad is so busy with so many things. <laughs> oh, this is now great. he's back Hi, again. <laughs> now he's back again. Wow. Are you okay? I had all the chargers hooked up for my iPad and my laptop, but not for my phone. Praise it's the Lord. It's been a process, guys. We started off with his iPad, then we switched to his laptop, and now we switched to his phone last minute. So they're trying to keep up with all the changes, but I think we have him set up now. Yeah, he's trying to put a charger on. There you got it. And then you can probably just set it on your laptop or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think we've and, got it. And make him move closer to the edge of the couch to the laptop. Okay, let's continue here with the comments. Oh, we were supposed to ask when you guys are coming to Kisumu. Maybe Dad can answer that. Yeah, you can answer that one. Well, we're not sure we don't have tickets yet, but we're looking at taking a trip to Israel and Switzerland, and then from Zurich, Switzerland, the last month in June, last, flying to Nairobi. Last week. For however long we're welcome. We're not sure how long that'll be. One week, two week, three week. Any recommendations on how long we should be in Kenya? Probably a month. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was asking the, your audience. That. Oh, 
<laughs> I'd like to come help out those people that you're talking to, Sylvia and Corey. I'd like to help out, help them out a bit. Yes. Somebody's I'm staying good. for as long as we like. Yeah, That's you good. can stay as long as you like. And someone is saying, Easy Nadi. Oh, they my bad. <laughs> yeah, my parents know Luo, guys, especially my mom. Amor, si. Wahero Jalu. Uchamango. Uchamango. A Daniel. <laughs> wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> Uh, that was a nice one. Um, Steph is saying happy Mother's Day to your mom and Sylvia, who is a mother figure. Blessings and love to both families. A Barbadian watching from Miami Beach, Florida. Thank you very much for that. Thanks for being here. Hey, hello from Switzerland. Hey, that's exciting. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> Um, I'm looking for questions. That's what I'm searching for. <laughs> Your parents did a great job in raising you. Peaceful Gem is saying, Amen. Uh, you are so lucky to, Lord. to others. May God continue to bless you all. Trini uh, is saying, you. Sylvia, you are a mini me of your mom. You look just like her. <laughs> Oh, wow. Thank you. Hey, we're up front. We're taking adoptions. Oh, boy. Someone is saying, <laughs> Red Truck is saying, your dad is handsome. He, he oh, also I know. that. All right. Wow, that makes that. my day. <laughs> Very true, Red Truck. <laughs> Hi. You captured me from day one. <laughs> Someone is saying stay for two months. Two months. Oh, that would be nice. So what are some things you want to do when you come visit us in Kenya? Uh, I like coffee, so I like to go to some coffee farms. Okay. I like to uh, see Corey's family and Kissy. Mm -hmm. His... Uh, I would like to see the track of land that you inherited or that you received. Yes. And Maybe just visit the people from our church and share joy and love and peace in that land. I can come. There's no wedding. Last time, two years ago, we were at your wedding. Before that, three years in Kenya working. No, I can just come and go to Dunga Hill Beach and eat fish with Corey and just what bask in the sun. <laughs> it's the boys thing. Oh, it's the boys thing. Yeah. Oh. Basking in the sun and eating mangoes, mangoes, ugali, gueno, everything, <laughs> chapati. Oh, boy. We're looking so, forward to spend time with you. So Ruth Wanjiao is asking if, um, Sylvia, ask your parents if they can adopt a 25-year-old baby girl, LOL. <laughs> Tell them the cost of living is too much. It's too high. <laughs> Are you up for and adoption then, in your senior years? Uh, probably. <laughs> if she's still a baby, how much does she weigh? We could maybe put her in our uh, carry-on. In your luggages. Luggage. <laughs> and just bring her back to America. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Bear Blue, she's coming in hot. She's saying, sorry, Corey, but it looks like you have a spider on your head. Well, oh. that's nice. Mama Bear Blue. <laughs> He's looking at Spain. <laughs> you, see, it looks like you have a spider on your head. I agree. I sometimes wake up at night and I'm scared. <laughs> you know, I've seen something come in about adopting rich kids. I uh -huh. like that idea. Corey, maybe we should consider doing that 
in our older years is just adopting rich kids. Adopting rich kids. So that, that means, Ruth, are you a rich kid? <laughs> Zuri, stop it. <laughs> Luxon is asking, do your parents speak Swahili? What Can you tell them the words you know in Swahili? Kadogo. <laughs> Mazuri sana. Abariako. <laughs> Just greetings mostly, not more than that. <laughs> so Chrissy is asking, how long have you been married and what's the secret to a great marriage? That's a good question. I love that. That's a really good question. Keep on track. Go ahead. I'll, I'll let Becky tell say that when I'm getting, I need to get a drink. <laughs> I think I'll be here to take notes. I know it's 35 years. We're coming to Kenya for our 35 year wedding anniversary. It's wow. next week. Next week will be 35 years. Well, the Did 19th. you know that their anniversary is May 19th and my birthday is May 20th? Yeah, so I we had Sylvia before class, our class wedding. <laughs> Mom, don't start any rumors. These people what? will run with it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it, I was years. born in 93 and you were married which year? In 88. Yeah, 1988. These people will run. Oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> um, how did you meet? How did we meet? I'll let you answer that one. It's, I it's think like that, they don't I, remember. I think Daddy should answer that. Yeah, we need Dad to answer that. Are you holding the phone, Mom? I am. It's wrapped on top of something. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like you guys forgot. <laughs> no. It was a long you... time ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah. See, see uh, you were in the same Amish church, right? We were in, in the same, uh, we weren't in the same community, but we went to visit their area, their homeland, and I met her there, and it was love at first sight. I wouldn't well, let go. So here we are. Yes. Must be a generational blessing. Yeah. So someone yeah. is saying, welcome to Kisi. There is more coffee here. Wow. That's what we like. Thank you. Thank you for the welcome. Yeah. I think with that piece of uh, land of mine, I should plant more coffee. Yes. And sell them to you. <laughs> <laughs> there was a place from Kasumu going to Caricho that had a coffee, Kip Kellyan coffee. Mm -hmm. And they have plants. They sell coffee trees, coffee, co op. And there we can get plants and take them to Kissy and plant them. Then someday I can come and live there and just take the berries, clean them, roast them, and have coffee and live happily ever after. <laughs> Someone is saying it's very interesting. Um, Brand, Brand is saying it's very interesting. How fast did your parents learn Luo? Can you tell them how you guys know Luo? And maybe how long it took you guys to learn Luo? Mateen, Mateen, slowly, slowly. <laughs> well, we had a we had a class at the at the mission place where we were working with, and we had a six weeks of of schooling with a teacher from Nairobi, and um, she made us she made us write sentences. She made us learn the words enough to where we could order a meal at a restaurant. And then we made food, and we had to order our meal in the Luo language. And that made us study and get our our words and sentences together. But um, the church ladies where we attended church at, they always challenged me, and sometimes they would talk to Luo, and then one lady would ask me, now, what did we say? Did you understand that? And they always cheered me on when I understood it and 
I tried to speak and I didn't say it right. And they'd all laugh at me. And I'd say, well, how do you say it? And the next time I'd say it right. But yeah, we just had three years of, of ex how would I say, practice, I guess, while we were there. It was a bit difficult because we were, I was 50 years old when we went to Kenya. So it was more difficult to learn the language. But just being around them, learning, and we had a native teacher teaching us Luo, uh, Rosemary, from uh, Rabor Church. She was a good teacher, and she would make you, and Sylvia was also a student in that same class, but she was most times on her phone not listening to the teacher. <laughs> seemed like oh. I don't know I don't know who she was texting but she wasn't always with us seemed like <laughs> so Lynn is yeah. asking how long were you and your mom in Kenya for congrats on 30 years in three years we we went there in March of 2016 and we left in May of 2019 so about three years yeah, yeah. And we had a very good experience in Kenya. We liked the people. We liked the food. Uh, we just have many memories of that land. And it's more relaxed, more people are having more time to talk and just chit chat than us Americans sometimes do. So we really enjoyed it. It was a fun time. And we met a lot of good Christian people. That's great. Someone is saying dad is a vibe. <laughs> they like you and mom. <laughs> and the lady well, that wants to be adopted by you is saying that she's very portable. <laughs> <laughs> very to go. Portable. <laughs> she, she, can she can fit in a baby carrier. <laughs> oh, wow. So, uh, personally, I have a I have a question for you, Dad. Okay. So, uh, when you found out that uh, Sylvia was dating a black, <laughs> she was dating me. What was your your reaction? Now, now you should have asked me offline. <laughs> <in this one. laughs> You're really going out on the limb, babe. You're. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, uh, maybe it was easier for me than for my wife, but uh, it was a shock to me. And it, 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 because of you guys doing this behind our back or maybe getting to know each other, we didn't know about it. So it was a surprise. In Kenya, they would say, I didn't see that one coming. And that's how it was for me. It was very hard for me to comprehend knowing the Kenya culture and the American culture. It was just difficult for me to think that Sylvia would go through that. But I know she's probably too much like her dad. She can, whatever she sets her mind to, she can make mandazis and kasumu, or she can make a YouTube <laughs> channel. And she can do it. Even at a police checkpoint, she can tell me how to drive. <laughs> so I knew she can do many things. Now her you sister know, is... The, my the, YouTube people have mostly just seen my sweet side, nice side, but... I do got backbone though. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I remember the first time I met Corey or had a talk to him and I remember how we just talked and how I'm not a racist. I'm not a, I love the Kenyan people, but for them to get married to each other, it's just such a, a getting accustomed, getting 
getting to know each other, getting to know traditions. And I knew there would be a lot of, I call them red flags, uh, maybe things that they would have to work through. And so that was my concern. And I think, too, like, because of the culture we grew up, we're not even just Americans, but we're Mennonites within the American culture. And even our Mennonite culture would be very conservative, and we very much have a set way of dating and how it should start and how it should be. It's a very safe way of and a good way of starting a relationship. And we didn't we didn't really follow that. And I think that's, too, what concerned my parents. But as far as liking him, they really did like him. Yeah. He always seemed to be a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, although he was a kissy. And you know the Luo people. So what's wrong being a kissy? Well, the Luo. Kind of the of see, I'm, I'm a Ja Luo. Ja Luo. <laughs> I'm a Ja Luo. She's a Tieno. I'm also yeah. a Luo. I fight for Baba. I married I a, Lua. Baba. I met, I married a Lua here. Yep. You're a little but, like but see, I was going to say something. I was interrupted. <laughs> see, I'm a Jaluo, and the Jaluos taught me that kissy people, when you come to visit them, they eat you. They, <laughs> they roast you and eat you, is well, what they we'd told be me. Quite a big meal, wouldn't we? <laughs> and I was just learning from my own people, the Luos, where Obama is from. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I've heard the same story too. And then you have a, a daughter that is very mature, and then the kissy is coming to want to date her. So you thought she was he was uh, wanting to eat me. So I was thinking maybe she would get married to Oluo. Now she's marrying a kissy. I was thinking they're going to just eat us or something. I... <laughs> Tonight he was eating orange. Do you know what orange is? No. Orange. Can you explain? Cow's feet. Uh, it's actually a, a cow f- feet. The, oh. There's a way they prepare the cow feet here. Yeah. And it's so yummy. Oh. So he's eating cow's feet. So don't be surprised if we no, feel I, like you might also eat no, us. It's not, it's not a kissy thing. Like uh, It's only kissy will eat orange. No, it's Everyone not. Is... <laughs> it's not. But still, if you eat orange, maybe you eat mazongo too. No, it's a, it's a it's... cow feet. It's not a human feet. A cow feet. <laughs> so is they, it? They catch. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, don't. You see, Zuri, you see, this one has food. This will be. A, this will be. This a, one has. Food. This will be a snack. Okay. <laughs> so there's a Charlotte saying that um, Dad is definitely. Wait, where's the comment? Right there. She's saying your dad is hilarious and should definitely start a YouTube channel. Dad, there you go. Okay. Guys, go to to I, I'm, I'm just needing some support. Mateen, Mateen. <laughs> just go subscribe to his channel. What's the name of your channel? Get a girl and Becky Miller. Gerald and Becky Miller, guys. Go subscribe. I think we're going to... Are we able to put the link here? Go subscribe to his channel, guys. He's going to Switzerland, and I'm going to try to help him make some videos. Yes. Let me just try Let's try to get the link there for you guys. And then run, don't walk, and subscribe. You know, I'll tell you a story. I, I can't see on my iPad how many people do we have. Uh, 429. How many? Okay, I would like to tell them a little bit of a story about the Luos. You know, when I came to Kenya, they told me that, that in order to be a Kenyan, you need to eat minnows. And you need to eat ugali. You know the little fish. Amana. Amana. Yep. Amana. You need to eat ugali, noyo. And I would tell people and also speak Luo, Luo Matin. And I was like, I did all of that. Once I did all of that, now they told me I need to be able to throw stones. You know how the Luos demonstrate. <laughs> And they were throwing I, okay, stones. That's where I get my TikTok stuff from. <laughs> so one day there was these people telling me that you need to, in order to be a Luo, you need to throw stones. So they were teaching me how to throw stones 
because those little people told me that in the Bible, David and Goliath, when David threw that stone, that David was a Luo. <laughs> so I'm not sure on all these stories. What is true? Were the Luos, were they, was David a Luo? Or, you know, in America, we try to be peaceful, but I know there's also much chaos in America. But I left then three years later. I don't know if I'm a Luo or not. I feel like a Luo. But maybe I can learn from the kissies. I'd say. We've learned a lot from Corey already, anyway. What's a good trait for the kissies? Can I tell you a story about when Sylvia was a little girl? Yeah, actually, I saw a comment. They want to hear a story of when I was naughty. I don't know why they don't want to hear when I was naughty. <laughs> they think you were naughty. Well, <laughs> we used to ride horses, and we all had horses and ponies. And Sylvia, I don't know how old she was, maybe six, five, maybe six. seven, eight. And she was riding this big 15 and a half hands horse, and she was afraid of it. And she jumped around, and the horse jumped over a little creek. And Sylvia flew off, and she broke her arm. That was a bad thing. My but left she told, arm. But she told me, Dad, I told you I'm going to break my arm. But she went back on the horse and rode it, and she was a good rider from then on. She was a very good rider. Yes. So one thing about now, I also have a story about my dad that links with that is one thing about my dad is he really loved doing things as a family. And so he loved horses. So we would all go riding. Mom, my sister, my brothers, everyone. We'd go riding and we all had our own horses. And so sometimes when it was full moon, we would go to sleep and then we would wake up around midnight and we would all get on our horses and we would ride down down the road and neighbors would join us sometimes we'd end up having 20 to 50 people all riding on horses and like the moon was so bright it was like daylight outside and we would come back at two or three in the morning and <clears throat> my dad always liked to do fun stuff with us and I remember when I fell off that pony and I broke my my wrist these two bones right here um my dad told me, if you don't get back on a horse, you'll never get back on. And he basically forced me to get back on the horse. And I overcame my fear and always enjoyed riding horses with my dad. So where's another question? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, Mary Ann, she's asking, bring your dad's link, please. I'll put it up on my channel too. Oh, um, Is Mary Ann the one that did the collab with me with the grandma? No. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I'm not, uh, I'm, I'll try to look for it. Because uh, I'm, I'm not. We're trying to find your channel link, but for some reason it's not popping up. Is it Gerald and Becky or Becky and Gerald? Gerald and Becky Miller. Okay. Maybe, and Becky I'll, Miller. maybe I'll get them to send the link after the live and then we'll post it with the live in the description. Exactly. So you okay. guys, if you come back after we post the live, I'll put their channel link in the description and let's get him some subscribers and I'll try to help him edit his videos and maybe you can get some footage of their journey to Switzerland. Yeah, we'd love to do that for you. I just want to be old and gray and go to Israel and Switzerland. You guys must really be living the the senior life. <laughs> we're spending we're spending our children's inheritance. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> oh my! But we are looking forward to that trip, and especially Kenya. We started talking about it today on the way to church, and the boys all want to go. They want to go too. <laughs> so we really got excited about it again. Yeah. So oh, HK254LYT is asking, 
Are they Amish or English? <laughs> I love. I think he got that term from a Yuguna's channel, English. Um, because Amish, whoever's not Amish, we always said they're English. Mar 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 Who did I say? Mayugno. Oh, no, <laughs> not Mayugno. Madwa. Madwa is visiting some Amish in the U.S. And he was telling people how that um, Amish people consider anyone who's not Amish as English. Yeah, that's how hey, we would Lynette say. Hey, Lynette is here. <laughs> Lynette Yoder said, hey, you guys. Good to see you. Oh. Thanks for being here, Lynette. <clears throat> Yeah, so they want to know if we're Amish or 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 what? Yeah, are you Amish or English, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we're probably between an English and a Mennonite or something in there. Okay. Yeah. But you you would kind of be Mennonite now, but you were Amish. We were, yeah. We started okay. off Amish and then we found the Lord. And we went to the Mennonite church and um, we still go to a Mennonite church in Wilmington, Ohio right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you tell them a little bit how it was to leave the Amish? Oh, my. It was one of the hardest things we ever did. I can say that. Um. But on the other hand, we knew it was the right thing to do because, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess my reasons may be somewhat different than, than Gerald's, but um, to me, it was, it had to be scriptural. It had to be scriptural and not a lot of add-ons and not, um, yeah, that was our deepest concern probably is to be in a church that is scriptural and um, I guess you grow over the years, your knowledge increases, and and then you go from there. You you keep growing. <laughs> so how would you say it was? Yeah, that's how I say. Yeah. Here's uses here. Thank you, Linda, for getting on the live. Um, I believe Linda was the one that said she was asleep, and she woke up to the notification and hopped on the live. I think it was Linda. Hopefully I'm not wrong with that. There was one of these comments with someone who had woken up and got on our live. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Bless your heart. So someone is asking, how many countries have your parents visited? What is it? Probably... German, we landed in Germany and Europe and... We were in Haiti. In Haiti. For a work trip in Haiti, building a church. We've been to Ukraine and Romania. And then, yeah, Switzerland, Amsterdam, Germany, Kenya. So, yeah. Uh, <coughs> Uganda, too? Yeah, you Uganda. Were in Uganda. 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 Tanzania. Wow. Mount, Mount Kilimanjaro. Is that a country? <laughs> the, that is Mount Kilimanjaro. I'll show you someday a video, a YouTube on Mount Kilimanjaro. The longest, the tallest freestanding mountain in the world with snow on top in Africa. That's but amazing. actually, that is not a. It's not a country. It's a. It's a mountain. Yeah, it. Mount Kilimanjaro is in Tanzania. And Kenya too. Yeah, and the <coughs> on the edge. Yeah, it's in the border between Kenya and Tanzania. Yeah, can you help me, Corey? If I have any, I need any assistance. You can help me. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, someone is asking, "What's your name?" Like. Uh, they, they want to know your, your names. I'm Gerald Miller and my wife, Becky. My name is spelled G-E-R-O-L-D, Miller. And this is Rebecca. All right. Zuri, in, Kenya, in Kenya, they called her the Smiling Mama. <laughs> yeah, they called her the Smiling Mother. <clears throat> 
So we're trying to search your channel right now and it's not popping up, but it's probably what just is the because previous name that it was using. The previous name was just Gerald Miller, right? Right. <clears throat> Let's see, it's not this one. You can just attach the link, probably. <clears throat> like in the. Someone is saying, nope, Mount Kilimanjaro is in Tanzania, not Kenya. Oh, okay. So was Corey right on that, or was he not? <laughs> he was wrong. <laughs> See, you have to listen to your Baba now. So you can see it from Kenya. What is your favorite food in Kenya? Edna is asking. Kachumbari. Just kachumbari. Nyoma choma. Nyoma choma with kachumbari. Nyoma choma chapati. So Ngeri. Ruth is asking, Sylvia, ask your dad which of the three East African... He loves best, and it better be Kenya, lol. <laughs> <laughs> ah, which you like best? Of course, I'm prejudiced to, to Kenya, because we were in Kisumu, very hot town, Lake Victoria. But yeah, I like Kenya. Uh, I really like Mombasa. When we went to Mombasa, we went out on the Indian Ocean, I believe. Somebody can correct me, but I believe that's the Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. Yes. And my and my boys <laughs> taught me how to snorkel. And I remember the first time I went in the Indian Ocean underwater, I seen all those fish and jellyfish, and they were so beautiful that I just came up and I was just so amazed at how God could create all those animals underneath the ocean. But Someday I'm going back to that place. It was very nice. Very good. So someone is saying here, I found his channel. It's Gerald Miller. So I see. It just changed. One, it's changed. The one that's still saying Gerald Miller, I think, has like 152 subscribers. That's actually my brother's channel. So you want to make sure and search for Gerald and Becky Miller. They have like. It, they had nine subscribers tonight. So if it's a channel with more than nine subscribers, then it's probably not the right one. Yeah, that sounds right. Right. I don't think I looked on my iPad just now, Sylvia, and it looks like that name hasn't changed yet. It was just oh, changed. Yeah. So are you able to take your iPad and then send us the link, then we can post it? I just don't have email on the iPad. No, you don't need email. Like if you sign into, if you if you just go into the search bar and search like YouTube, then click on YouTube and search your, and then your profile should be there. It is. Okay, can you show me on this? Are you able to show me on the screen? Ouch. Um. Are you able to share anywhere there? Yeah, I can. I can share it. Okay, then send it to Corey's um, Corey's WhatsApp. I can I send it to his Facebook Messenger. Yeah. That way, we'll just post the link right here because I don't want people to get confused. Because my brother's channel, the last video was posted like five years ago. So oh my. there won't be any more content on that channel. So make sure to. Yeah, did you send it on there? I should have sent it to his. To yeah, Ernie Nesting is saying, I'm seeing your dad's name attached to a channel called Kenya Memories Wayne Miller. Is that your brother? Yes, that's my brother's channel. And he no longer posts on there. So that's not the right one. And that's why we want to get the link. To the right one up here. I think Corey found it. Did you find it? Yeah, yeah. he did. Very He's good. going to Very put good. the link here in the comment section for you guys. That's good. 
Okay. Laverne Maca, Maca, Ma, Ma, oh boy. Laverne is asking, Sylvia, when do you go back to visit your parents? We will go back to visit them as soon as we can get Corey's visa. So you've not heard anything about his visa or anything coming through yet? No, not yet. Not yet, unfortunately. Everyone's saying I'm a carbon copy of you, Mom. Omar and Carlin <laughs> Williams is saying Sylvia is the carbon copy of her mom. Oh, wow. I feel like I've heard a lot that I look like my dad. I haven't heard as much that I look like you, except since I'm in Kenya, everyone says that. I'm, I'm thinking you're, when they know you and your dad, they would think you look alike because you your personalities are the same. Yeah, I was just going to say there was someone here asking, I don't know which disposition Sylvia takes after. I would say definitely dad. Yeah, <laughs> I would say so. Christopher is asking, Sylvia, what's your favorite Kenyan food? Um... I really like I really like Uji. I like Noyo or Gileri. And um but for a meal I like um like grilled beef or nyomachoma and like ugali kachambari. My my favorite place in Kasumu used to be the hangover. Remember, Corey? Huh? It's still Dr here. What's the name of it? Is it? Oh, it's still uh, Hangover. Hangover Hotel, yeah. Oh, it's still Hangover. Remember how it had a tree growing up the center of the building? And they just, they built the building around the tree, and they always had fresh meat cooking, and it was a very good place. I would give them a shout out, go to Hangovers. Did you Kasumi. know that they, they cut down that tree? Yeah. I was so sad about that because it was so cool how the tree was growing through the building. <clears throat> that was so unique. So someone is here. Hi. I'm not going to say this name right, but I'm going to try. Kairaj Ke Ke <clears throat> is saying hi from Istanbul. You guys making great mental support for me. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, too. Thanks for being here. Watching from Germany, I'd love to watch your videos, Sylvia and Corey, with your parents. I love to watch your videos, Sylvia and Corey. Thanks for being here on the live. We know some German. We, we call it Pennsylvania Dutch, but the Amish do speak German. For saying, like, how are you, we would say, wie bist du? <clears throat> so it's similar to German, I believe. Whomever found the page can post the link. Yes, we're posting the link right now. Someone is saying, just wondering, can your parents ask the American embassy to assist in ex expediting the visa in the Kenyan embassy? Could you write a member of parliament and explain the problem you're having? Um, it might be possible, but we do have a lawyer on the U.S. side helping us out. And so they're able to do much more than we can. And they've told us just to wait for right now till we hear from the Kenyan embassy. So that's what we're doing. Sylvia, I cooked Noyo tonight. Please come have some with me with black tea. Oh, I love that. Oh, I, I love Noyo. Like Eating my noyo with um, lemongrass tea. It's noyo. Noyo. So good. Okay, thank you. I hope Corey will get his visa soon. We can't wait for him to get his visa and book a flight and go home and show him my world and take you guys along. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I have the, the link with me. Sylvia, you look so much like your mom. Happy Mother's Day. Love and support from Georgetown. 
Guana, South America. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, wow. I went to Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Sylvia, which fruit did you like as organic from Kenya? I like mangoes. Sandy is saying, we bish do, we bish do is very sweet. We get as dear, do gleich den, denim papa. Yes, very much. <laughs> I love my dad very much. Do well, I haven't papa. read high German since school. The Amish school always <laughs> made us read high German. So I'm sure I didn't say all of that right, but I think we understood what you're saying. Wie geht's as dear means like, how's it going? Um, du gleicht in dein and papa means like, you love your dad. What is Aww. noyo? Noyo is Aww. cooked beans and maize. Sorry, I interrupted mom. You want to just say something? No. I, was, I wasn't going to say, I was just saying aw. <laughs> Okay, so Corey has put the link for my dad's channel in the comment section, and he has pinned it. So if you want, <laughs> we're sitting on Zuri's toy. <laughs> so if you guys want to go subscribe to his channel, we will help him get content on there, and you guys will love them. Erkamano Madwong. So right now, thank you, um... thank you, thank you. Right now they have 24 subscribers. I think we can make them to reach a thousand subscribers. Wow. Morning. There you go. He went from, from nine to 24. Doing good, Dad. Wow. Yeah, thank you, thank I you. I guess, I guess, thank you. Maybe I will be encouraged to start a channel and Dorothy's, show. Dorothy is saying, I just subscribed to your parents' channel. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Where are you in Ohio? Bella Bella is asking, what part of Ohio? We are in Southern Ohio, close to Cincinnati. Okay. Hey, Sylvia, that Sandy P that had that Dutch, yes. where is she from? Is she from Germany or Switzerland? Um, Sandy, let us know where you're from. She put another comment here, Sandy P, saying, watched your videos in Sleepless Nights. Love to watch your wedding. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for raising a wonderful daughter. Wow. wow. Juliana Owl is saying, how many languages do you guys speak, your parents and you guys? I speak Pennsylvania Dutch and English and a little bit of Luo and a tiny bit of Swahili. Yeah, well, that's that's probably what we have, is the Pennsylvania Dutch and English, and then the Luo and tiny bit of Swahili. Honey, I guess how many languages do you know? Um, for me, I know um four, four languages: English, wow. Swahili, Luo, and Kisi. Uh-huh. Yeah. So Sandy P is saying I am from Bavaria, Germany. Germany. Oh Germany. Oh wow. Oh Vieter Sand. <laughs> we'll see you again. Thanks so much guys for subscribing to Dad's channel. Everyone's coming here saying they just went and subscribed. Aww. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Some channel walking off on Stroke Huggins says, Sylvia, lovely parents. I am a subby from Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago. I'm probably not saying that right. Tobago, yeah. You, you know, Corey, you're, uh, you're being, your people are sleeping now. Yeah. All Actually, your subscribers from Kenya, they are resting. We, we only have, so far, we only have one Kenyan senior. Her name is Ruth. She's the one who is awake right now. But so, imagine many, don't you have many subscribers from 
Kenya, but they can listen to this later. Yeah, right. sure. we'll post the mm -hmm. live. Oh, I see I see one another Kenyan, Wesley Tanui. We are awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's someone saying, Amanda Yoder is saying, Hi from Indiana. Just found your live. Interesting to see your parents and hear about their travels. I'll be subscribing to their channel. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. Challenge L is asking, were your children homeschooled? Happy Mother's Day. Mount Kilimanjaro is in Kenya and Tanzania like the Maasai. Uh -huh. So were we homeschooled was his main question or her main question. Well, some of their years they were. The, um, Sylvia and Sharon had uh, most of their schooling in a parochial school. But um, from... From then on, the, they finished in homeschool, and the three younger boys were all homeschooled. So Elizabeth Ward is saying, I have subscribed. Looking forward to great content. Dad, no pressure. <laughs> all right. Wow. Get the videos rolling. <laughs> Comment what? below, what kind of videos would you like to see from my dad's channel? Yes. He, does, he does beekeeping. He has a farm that he mows the grass. He builds fences. He has cows. Dad, what else do you do? I just finished doing about uh, six deer plots for deer and turkey and wildlife. So I do that. And I, go to, I love to go to auctions. I love coffee antiques, like coffee grinders. Coffee roasters. You collect? I collect some of those for doing coffee, uh, getting ready to start a coffee shop. So I do many things. We have we do a building business is how we have done for years, doing small sheds, buildings. And so uh, at 57 years old, I wear different hats. So, but I would love to go to Colombia, to Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Africa, and Ethiopia. I was invited to tour a coffee farm in Fika in, in different countries of Africa, Brazil. So there's travels I like to do, but it all takes money and but as I do that, I would like to invite you to just travel with us. I'm not a professional YouTuber, but I can maybe talk and maybe Sylvia can help edit or my wife. Well, what I'm but, thinking that is if you could send me some of your video footage from like Switzerland, I can do a few edits for you and post some videos for you until you get here. And then yeah. during the time you're here, I can kind of teach you how to edit. And then you can still go home and make videos showing them about your bees and about the buildings, the buildings you make and the um, coffee, how you guys, guys, they have a coffee trail on the weekends. They make coffee drinks and you have a lot of things you can show them from my life at home and what you guys are doing. You, you know, something that maybe would be interesting for your people is uh, my wife and I were born and raised Amish for 40 years. We were in the Amish community, and that was our life. That was our, our vision. And then when we left back in 2005, now we've been away from the Amish, and my mother is 84 years old. I wish her happy Mother's Day. She's still Amish, but we have a lot of friends in the Amish community. Riding horses, driving horse and buggies. You know, maybe someday that would be interesting for you to join on a vlog with Amish and how they milk cows by hand and how they make butter and they churn butter and how their school system works. I know all that because I, I was Amish for 40 years. They're saying any Amish content, yes, they want to see about the Amish. 
he has Amish brothers and an Amish mom. He can teach you all about the Amish way of life. Someone Many asked people. how old you are. I was born in 1965. Well, I'm and, not math, so. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be 58 years this year. Wow. Well, so dad's going to be 58. Mom, how old are you? I'm 57. But, but, you know, I still love uh, the Amish. Uh, I don't agree with a lot of their religious practices, but they still love each other. They're a loving people. And I like to build a bridge with some of those people because many of them are lost. And they want to sometimes know more about trips and travels and about Jesus. And they're so interested that I would fly to the Holy Lands in Can uh, Jerusalem. And today I had a topic on the uh, Pool of Shalom and what Hezekiah built. And we're going to get to see that in June when we go to Israel. We're going to see all that and how it was made you know, 2,500 years ago. So I enjoy that too. So I have many hobbies. I just don't have enough time in a day to do all of them. So I'm taking a lot of vitamins and minerals and eating right and controlling my diet and walking and exercising so I can live to be 110 is what my goal would be. And Crazy. I think for a lot of you guys, you might not know that my dad had... Um, a severe case of COVID and we almost lost him. What is it, Dad? Two years ago now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think on his channel, we'll help him to do a sit down and he'll tell you guys about his COVID story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a, just a brief thing. It was in October of 2020. I had COVID and I was in the hospital for five weeks in rehab for three weeks. I was on a ventilator for 21 days and away from family. So someday I'll try to explain more of that. But it was a, an experience in my life, probably the lowest time of my life. But also God showed me many things for my future. So I'm grateful that that happened in our lives and in our family to see how God works. So, well, thank you for that. I think that would be a really interesting video to go more in depth with that on your channel sometime. Mm -hmm. um, but someone here is saying that real Amish don't have internet or YouTube. So, um, and another person was asking kind of a question to go hand in hand with that is, um, is the church you're with now still connected to the Amish church? No, when, when you don't support the Amish churches, you either get uh, excommunicated or like put outside the church. So you can still maybe visit, but you're really not in any way a member of their group. Because if you don't support them, so any church that wouldn't be like all the, like that German lady from Germany, all their services are in German. So if you don't know German, you won't understand any singing or any German and you're no longer involved with them. So they excommunicate you and they shun you um, when yeah. you leave the Amish church. So for those who are a little bit confused, we would be with the Mennonites and the Mennonites are their beliefs are a lot like the Amish, but their way of life is different. Um, as far as the Christian belief, it's almost alike. There's definitely some differences. But Amish and Mennonite are kind of like sister sister religion. Is it religions or faiths um, where they believe a lot of the same stuff, but the way they apply it as in dress, way of life, like the person was saying, real Amish don't have internet or YouTube, and that's correct. 
Um, but we did leave the Amish and we're Mennonite and they do allow some of those things like cars. We don't have to drive horse and buggy anymore, all those things. So um, empty nesting is asking, are the Amish racist? Didn't know they had German connections. I would say um, Amish are not racist. They're not very exposed to um, Africans or um, black people or African Americans because of coming from Germany. Wouldn't you say, Dad? Yeah. They would have mostly white descendants and forefathers and all that, but they do welcome anyone into their churches. Like if you as a black person would go there and say you want to be Amish and you want to give up your way of life and join them, they would welcome you with open arms. Yeah. And yeah, in 2023, that, they're not racist. No. There's people that join. There's all kinds of races that join the Amish. They like that culture. They like that way of life. So there's people that join that. You mean uh, like there's different races that join the Amish? Yeah. I know I know black people that are Amish. Right. They would be in the minority. Right. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> um trying to look for more questions. Oh, I see, I see my Kenyan people. It seems like they want to crucify me. <laughs> they are in the building. <laughs> the Kenyan people are where? They, they, are, they, are, they are actually watching this live right we now. We thought they were asleep, but they're making sure that we know they're awake. <laughs> Thank you for being here, and each Kenyan. And oh make my. sure, please go subscribe to their channel. Is it Gerald wow. and Becky Miller? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Someone is asking, Sandy P is asking, why did you leave the Amish community? Uh, that that is a could be a long story, but uh, it was the Amish are very religious. So they believe that a lot of their dress and horse and buggy and the way they live is their salvation. And I became born again. I found Jesus for my Savior and started reading my Bible and studying about what God was talking about in the Bible. And it didn't match up. It didn't mesh up with what I was being taught for all those years. And so I just seeked, uh, I went to New York City on a mission trip. I went other to Chicago helping. And then Amish people don't support flying out of a country like Kenya. Even my Amish mother did support us to go. But it was just so many restrictions to be an Amish person and using that for a salvation. And I guess we found Jesus. We have freedom in Christ that we're not held to that bondage uh, and that and that culture, although we respect that, if that's how they want to live, then that's okay. But I don't think that's how we need to live to go to heaven. I think this is a good kind of question that has an answer. Romeo P is saying, do Mennonites trust and believe the blood of Jesus saved them? Or do they believe they get to heaven by doing good works? So I think that would be the biggest difference between Amish and Mennonites is Mennonites would openly preach about um, the blood of Jesus and being saved um, mm -hmm. through the blood of Jesus and what Jesus has done on the cross and his resurrection. Um, 
as opposed to most Amish communities would preach less Bible and more rules, like your beard has to be this long and your dress has to be this long and your hat needs to be this big. And, and they focus so much on those rather than Jesus and what he did for us. And that was one of the main reasons we left the Amish and joined the Mennonites is because the Mennonites way was um, biblical. We were actually not encouraged to read our Bible uh, because they were German. Um, and that was, it's kind of left up to the elders to, to read and teach the Bible. But that kept us from salvation because we did not understand the high German because we speak a Pennsylvania Dutch. So it was hard to even get the salvation message with the two different languages. But when we got a hold of the English Bible, and English is what we were taught in school. That's how everything was conducted in was English, except our church services was all in the high German and the Pennsylvania Dutch. So I think that really keeps people from finding salvation because of the language barriers there. And um, But if you, if you turn to your English Bible, it's how we actually found salvation then. Right. And Romeo is saying again, Jesus is the only way to heaven, not from our works. And also Sheila is saying it's about your good works. Um, and I think it's a combination of both. Good works as in what God commands us to do. But for the Amish, good works is, is your dress the right length? Or is your hat the right size? That is their good works. And if they follow that, they get to heaven, not the good works the Bible's talking about. So it takes the good works the Bible's talking about, and it takes the blood of Jesus Christ, those two together. So you're both right. Romeo is right, and Sheila, you're also right. So Linda is asking, how many generations does your family go back in America? Like since we would have came from, is it Switzerland or Germany? Uh, Switzerland. That's because where I'm born. Interestingly enough, we talk a certain dialect of German, but then on my mom's side of the family, her mom would have had um, grown up with Swiss. So I know there's there's also Swiss somewhere here because, mom, you would know a little bit of Swiss. And my grandma used to yodel. And for those of you who have seen my yodeling video, we have Swiss mixed into our DNA. I tend to think that the Swiss the Swiss heritage comes from Switzerland and um, the our, our descendants that are not Swiss probably come from Germany. They would know more high German and that kind of uh, I think they come from two different countries there actually, but there's they're similar. Right. So Empty Nesting with Auntie Karen is asking, can you give some advice to empty nesters on coping with empty nest syndrome and finding yourself again after the kids leave home? Um, it seems her children have grown up and left, and she's asking, how do you find yourself again after you're done being a mom and a dad to children who live at home? You want to answer that one? No. <laughs> Well, we still have children at home, so I don't know if I can share in that feeling completely, although I know it it's um, a big thing in life to get used to when your children get married and leave and start their own and still you're happy at the same time. It's kind of a kind of a mixture of emotions in your in your stomach or in your heart sometimes. But um I guess for me, if, if once that ever happens to us, that we're all alone here, you would, um, I would hope I would have the, the heart to support and love our children where they are and always have an open house for them to come back home to, to visit or whatever. Um, although I've never been there, I've not, not experienced that exact thing. But I would, uh, my desire is just to, to be a grandma where they all want to come back to and, and do whatever we need to do to have a good time and connect and have a good relationship, I guess. 
I guess one thing that helps with empty nesters is continue to be positive and look for other things to do. When you have a house full of children and they leave and one by one, that you can still have things that you can take an interest in, whatever it is, mm -hmm. that yeah. you can stay busy. Now the whole conversation in the comment section is about faith and works. I'm like this. Uh-huh. Well, you know, I was at a, I was recently, I was, go ahead. Someone here is saying faith without works is dead, but the works isn't how we are dressed or how long your beard may be or whether or not you watch television. That's right. Recently, I was at an Amish funeral, and there the Amish preacher preached that we should just do what Grandpa and Grandma used to do. Whatever Grandpa and Grandma did, that was back in the early 1900s. That's what we're supposed to do. And I, I think what we're supposed to do is do what God tells us, what Jesus tells us in the Bible, not that they were wrong, but they were just being taught what they were being taught. And I believe we need to be open-minded in Jesus and know that we are saved through him, not through our works. Although in Revelations, it talks about we're going to be judged according to our works. And there's a lot of scripture, and I'm sure we could talk a lot about that. But it's all about how our heart is and love for Jesus. And so I guess there's many things we could talk about that, but that's how I believe that Jesus is the one that saved us. It wasn't really grandpa or grandma, although they set us an example, but it's not about having a horse and buggy. Whenever, whenever you have, when you transit from a horse and buggy to a car, then you're worldly. Although they drive with them, they won't drive one. Kind of like I am now when I go to Kenya. I like for Corey to drive because then he can check the police checkpoints and I can just sit there and smile. <laughs> but if I'm driving, they're bribing money from me. So I'm kind of like an Amishman when I go to Kenya. Is that okay, Corey, if I get you to drive? Or if my sons are along, they like to drive, but... The Kenyan police can be uh, a challenge for this Musungu. You win you my bet. I'm ready to drive you guys around for free. <laughs> so people are saying that mom's hand is getting tired. <laughs> uh, it's okay. So you haven't bought your tickets yet to come to Kenya? We have a ticket a ticket agency looking for tickets because it's a little bit of a problem because Sylvia, we're supposed to fly back from Zurich to Chicago. So if we oh, split that... The, the group you're traveling with. With the group. but So we're trying to get tickets to one way from Zurich to Nairobi and then later coming from Nairobi to Chicago. But in order to get a visa, we have to have return flights. I guess they want to make sure we're going to get back out of there again, <laughs> that we don't stay for too long. Well, we'd love if you guys could stay maybe for at least three weeks. Yeah. So can you tell your group what you're going to do with us when we come there? We'd like to know ourselves. Maybe you could tell us. <laughs> well, um, I think we want to spend some time in Nairobi with you guys. Hopefully get a nice Airbnb and take a few days and catch up on jet lag. And um, definitely want to bring you to Kisumu and um, probably have some time with his family. Um, and then also probably going to their homeland. As most of you know, Corey's family 
they settled here in Kisumu and had most of their children here in Kisumu, but their home is in Kisi and they're actually building a house there. Um, I don't know. I think the way the culture works, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but like when your parents get older, they'll move back home to that house. Oh, okay. Like once they stop work and once they are old, they go back home and that's why he's building that house right now, right? Like uh, not just in Kisi, but uh, in most uh, tribes here in, in Kenya. They do that way. So we'll probably go home with his parents to Kisi and see the project his dad has going on. He's building a home there. And then we'll show them our land and um, probably take them to some new restaurants that have popped up here in Kisumu. Um, possibly have them meet um, some of our friends here. Uh, Liz and Ronnie are some of our friends and um, probably Nicole too. I want mom and dad to visit her. So just showing them our world basically. And then dad wants to visit some coffee places. So we'll do that with them and probably just have a lot of relaxation time and spending time oh, together, wow. gleaning advice from them. Oh, we can't wait. We're excited to come over there and be with you. So have I seen somebody can help with tickets? Where is booking that? Tickets. <laughs> oh, I can help with booking of tickets in Kenya and local transport here in Kenya. Wesley Tanui. Oh, I Thank you I very much. See? Well, should we end this live? <laughs> Yes. I said it wrong, Tanui. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all probably are ready to sleep, aren't you? Yeah, it's two yeah. in the morning here, but we're night owls wow. anyway, and we kind of. Oh my sleep goodness! Late. Oh my goodness! Someone is keeping track. Steph is keeping track. She's saying you have eighty-one subscribers now. There's oh my goodness! Thank you. Whoa! There, thank you. There's 433 people on the live. So can we get my dad to 100 before we end the live? Please. Wow. Post the link again. We promised to post, get some. We're going to post the link right now in the chat. So click on that link and go subscribe. And let's get them to 100 subscribers. They're yeah. at 81 yeah. now. Like no pressure. Well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I seen somebody wanted a safari. What kind of safari would they want? Um, Linda is saying, I'm not sure which safari they're talking about. Maybe you can, the person who commented that can drop in the comments what kind of safari you want them to take. Linda is asking, um, have you, you have talked several times about building a roundhouse, Sylvia. Do you think you and Corey will build one in QC one day? Yes, we definitely want to do that. Um, we'll probably either buy a house or buy land somewhere else to have like as our home. But for the land he inherited in QC, we want to build a roundhouse and have it as a place we can stay if we go back to visit or maybe even rent it out as an Airbnb. Um, oh, wow. It's pretty far off of the beaten path. So if we ever do build it and finish it, um, if you would go there, I would imagine you'd want to stay a few days because it's how far from a main road is it, babe? Um, it's close to around 30, 30 minutes of break. Yeah, so it's a little bit off the main the main road. I'm excited to go see Casey. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever been there. You're welcome. I hope Just make sure they have eaten before we get will. there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think about that. <laughs> They're saying you have 104 enough. subscribers now, so I guess oh. we've reached that goal. Bless your heart. Whoa. Bless your heart. <laughs> Becky, Becky's not yawning now. No. <laughs> no, nope. I had to put my glasses on to see them. Wow. 
they're saying that they're expecting videos from you so we better we better get some content out dad yeah yeah weren't you just working with your bees the other day yes yes we promised oh, to put some good videos on she's saying don't they have safari tours in kenya that's what i mean although they probably did that already considering they were living there yeah we've done um through some uh, like the masai mara we did a few safari tours you know do you guys know when that uh wilder beasts of is there corey you know there's a migration in kenya of the wildebeest when is that in september oh um or july july i'm not familiar i'm not i'm not uh, familiar with that but uh, i'll find i'll find it out then i'll let you know yeah the wildebeest migration i remember that i know many people from europe and America would come for that migration. I think that would make a nice video for you guys. I could help maybe chase the wilder beasts across the river. <laughs> oh, it's in September. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. saying it's September. Okay. I like that guy's name. It went off, but the Proverbs. Proverbs 31. That's his name. Yeah. Park Yeso Ahinya. Park Ruat, huh? What kind of migration is that? It's the wildebeest, and I don't know enough about it, but they're traveling from one location to the other because of the season changing, right? Yeah. Because yeah. there's no grass where they're at, they have to travel somewhere else. <laughs> She's Lily. Oh. Proverbs 31 is a lady named Lily. Yeah. Hi, hi, Lily. I like your name. <laughs> Corey, you look like you're a bit tired. Uh, just a little bit, but um, I'm okay. It was a dindo. <laughs> well, we can end the live too. I, I think it's been, what is it, 117 minutes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. But thank you guys for getting on this live with us and chatting with yes. other people. And hopefully they'll get to see some videos of you guys after June, probably sometime in July. Mm -hmm. We'll have YouTube videos with my mom and dad. Yes. Well, thank you for having us on here. Yeah. Thank and you very much. Thank you all for tuning in. I I see we have one uh, 111. Wow. Yeah. Thank that you. is guys, awesome. We're almost at 50K. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you go and subscribe to our channel as well. Um, we're at 48K right now. So almost hitting that 50K mark. And wow. yeah, I think we have some big plans for once we reach 50K. Um, we won't, I don't think we'll talk about it right now. But it does involve <laughs> our subscribers, so stay tuned for that. But but do you think, Corey, the traveler, that you have many subscribers that are the same? Because I always like to watch your videos also, how you help people, how you do work for the Native people. I like, I like to see your YouTube getting better also. Yeah, um, I do try my best. Uh, I've yeah. been doing a few uh, a few videos uh, la last week. Yeah, I think last week because uh, we are in, in a new week, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, almost the whole of last week, it was it was so crazy. But uh, I'm glad that uh, we really finished up uh, with some of the projects, and uh, this coming week there's still more projects to come. And uh, yeah. For, for the people who haven't subscribed to my channel, to my personal channel, um, yeah, you can run there, Corey the Traveler. Yes, mm -hmm. to I like days. that. <laughs> have you ever imagined uh, growing up in a kissy that you would have a your own YouTube channel and be able to help people? I think it's so wonderful. It is. 
And uh, you know, I, I believe that you can be a link from all the countries that are wanting to help Kenya or a mission, and they know where it's going to go. I know you're an honest person. You're and even with the help of your wife, maybe she can help you a bit also. <laughs> help her with the roofing. If they do roofing and the metals and the mambate, maybe she can help screw those mambate sheets. Hey, yeah, I think she can hey, do an amazing job. <laughs> she yeah. used to help me in my business in the building. She helped us there. So she has talent. Yeah, I used to make gazebo railings for the gazebos. Did I tell you about that? No. Yeah, I used to make gazebos for my dad. Yep, that's what you I and just Sharon posted, did for a long time. I just posted Corey's channel link. So if you haven't subscribed to Corey the Traveler, make sure to do so. Um, he shows, he helps widows and he recently helped um, through his subscribers. He helped a girl go to school. So he always helps out a lot. He helps people in the community. And then our main channel is just more our everyday lives and travel and that kind of thing. So do you have another project, Corey, going soon? Um, okay. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a, a new project that uh, it's coming this week. It will be Andrew. Andrew Junior wants to finish up building his house. Oh. And uh, people love him so much. And uh, I think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like him. They, they really want to help him on that. Yeah. And also, I need to finish up some of the projects that I've, I haven't finished them yet, like um, um, purchasing all the school items that uh, Mariam needs. We already have the money with us. And uh, wow. I'll be also... Con there's, a, there's a kitchen for the second grandma. There's oh. a kitchen you need to build uh, this week. Yeah, so those are the projects that are, are, yeah. that are coming this week. this week. I think three projects that I need to work on this week. You know, a project I would like to propose for you, Corey, yeah. is when we come to Kenya for the Nakoko, my Nakoko friends, I think we need to slaughter a sheep for them. And maybe we can, you can uh, have a video on that. Oh, well, that, that would be, that would be so. We so can good. arrange it. Yes. Sorry, I was actually looking up something for a question someone asked here. What what was he saying? I was out. I was Sorry. proposing with his work projects that he we get one organized for Nakoko Church. That is the church where we were uh, pastoring for three years in Kenya. And those brothers are texting me already wanting to know what we're going to bring for them. I think we could maybe have a little party for them, and then you could show that with your work, uh, your traveler video. By the way, I have a sheep. No, not yeah. a sheep, a, a goat. I have a goat. Maybe, probably by that time, the goat will be old enough to be slaughtered. <laughs> oh, wow. But should we, not, should we not eat a sheep? I think a sheep, you know, when I was there and there was a pastor made in the church, he butchered a sheep, oh. he slaughtered it, and we ate everything but the hoofs and the horns. <laughs> everything inside and out, we were eating it. Yeah, you know, for Kenyans, they don't spare anything. Everything yeah. is eaten. Now, so for us <laughs> Americans, imagining warm liver, not cooled down, just the warm liver, making liver and onions, and then we celebrated all the leaders of the church, we celebrated eating warm liver from the sheep. Dad, and it made us very good. People, you're going to freak the vegetarians out on this channel. Oh, no. my. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's okay. So I'm going to answer a question from Romeo um, about he's asking if he needs a COVID vaccine to travel to Kenya. And as of May 9th of this year, 2023, 
you are no longer required to have a COVID vaccine either to enter the country or leave the country of Kenya. And um, you also don't need to take like the pre, pre-departure COVID-19 test. So as of May 19th, all of that. Um, so, but if I'm traveling from Zurich, Switzerland to Nairobi, do you think I don't need a test? Well, you might need one in Zurich. I don't know, but you won't need I one. I do need one. I do need one to go to Zurich, uh, like the PCR test. Yeah. But I don't know if I need one to go to Nairobi. No, you don't need one to come to Nairobi. Oh. Here it's saying Ooh, the notice is issued with effect from May 9th, 2023. General mm-hmm. travel requirement. The following measures shall apply to travelers departing and arriving into the country. All travelers arriving into the country through any point of entry shall no longer be requir- required to show proof of either COVID-19 vac- vaccination or a pre-departure COVID-19 test. Oh, wow. That's good to know. Well, are you going to charge your listeners for that information? Nope. I'm just nice like that. <laughs> no, Google to the rescue. But it Google says if you rescue. have flu-like symptoms, I think you'll be required to take a, a <laughs> antigen, <laughs> an antigen test at your own cost. Yeah. Well, we're looking we're looking forward to seeing you guys. We're coming a long way, 10,000 miles. So, have some good fish ready for us. <laughs> and some ugali. Oh yeah. my. I've so, been making ugali here at home lately. Well, that's good. See, you can get ugali flour where you live, right? Yeah. Right at our local store. Did you well, hear that, babe? I think now I'm safe. <laughs> now you're safe. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, you probably feel very vulnerable to think about coming to the U.S. and all the new things you'll see and learn and all that good well, stuff. It's about time to turn the tables. <laughs> <laughs> time for you to learn new stuff about a culture, right? Yeah. So, Corey, are you excited about coming? What, what, or are you a little bit nervous? Um, yeah, I'm just a little bit nervous, especially uh, when it uh, when it happens that uh, it, it will be like uh, during winter. That's just my biggest uh, worry. Yeah. Yeah. He's really not excited about the cold. I'm yeah, I imagine. But 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 I'm glad she's doing an amazing job. Every night we sleep with our fan on, so it's like uh, we, 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 we have been preserved during the night. Well, if you come in the winter, we can just go to Florida. You can spend the winter there where it's nice and warm. Right. That's what we're <laughs> and I heard the uh, the Maasai, or where were you in Nakuru? by the Kurtzes, they told you you will get accustomed to the cold weather in even just four weeks. Yeah. Right. Actually, I was editing that video today for my channel, visiting the Amish Mennonites in Nakuru. So, guys, stay tuned. That video is coming out probably tomorrow evening. So, that will be interesting. Yeah, that will be. Well, well, uh, I think uh, there's one person who is uh, watching our live. Uh, his name is Dennis the National. Yeah. Oh. So, Dennis. I salute you. I salute you, Dennis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I oh remember him. yes, Dennis. Yeah, I remember. We remember him. You remember him from our videos. Yeah. yeah. That was quite a while ago, right? The comment. Oh, Chrissy J. Chrissy J. Uh, I can see your comment. You will adopt, Corey. Yeah, I think adopt. Uh, adopt. adopt. <laughs> no, you know, it's, it's <laughs> a huge teacher. For us, you were told it's adopt, you know. Mm-hmm. Adopt, adopt, she'll adopt. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, I will adapt to 
the climate. Okay. I know it, oh, it, yeah. it needs just a few. Yeah. <laughs> it needs a few a few weeks. Yeah. Then uh, I think everything will be okay. Yep, yeah. it'll be okay. Yeah. All righty. Well, I think the comments are kind of winding down. And are you ready to be off of the live? I think we're re about ready. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're Whenever. ready. All right, sounds good. Honey, do you have anything more you want to say? Um, I just uh, really enjoyed uh, this live with uh, my parents-in-law. And uh, Me too. Yeah. good to see you guys. Good to see you, dad and mom. Yes. Yeah. Good to see you too. Thank you for having us so much. Thank you for getting on the live. And thank you for those of you who are here from the beginning and so yeah. how how we couldn't get on the live right away um thanks for helping us out and for reminding us to ask them if they have the youtube app and yeah thanks mom and dad for going through all the trouble you did to get on here um oh, it was fun it was it was nice having you guys here and we can't wait to see you guys in the end of june hopefully and make more videos with you yeah Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be happy. We're so excited. We're getting more excited the closer it gets. We're trying to get the suitcase out. And I want to take this. I want to take that. And, and we're just getting all excited about it. <laughs> well, I'm want... getting an Amazon order together. So hopefully that will come in time before you go. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I want to thank all your subscribers for supporting you guys watching your videos and following you. I know you have a good heart, Sylvia and Corey, and what you do there, I know you want God in your life. And Corey, I know you have a good family. And I just want to thank the subscribers to follow you guys and what you're doing for them. I know it's not like your full-time work. I know you enjoy it, and but I'm sure you get tired of all that. But I know that God has a plan for you, and we just trust in that. Yeah. And, but I know your subscribers are the ones that, you know, it's like a missionary said one time that he would make a good missionary if he just wouldn't have all the people. <laughs> and I believe that's how you guys are. You wouldn't have a YouTube channel if it would not be for all your loyal subscribers that you have. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank them as a dad and mom that they are helping to take care of you guys and supporting you. And I know you're grateful for that. Very. So, yeah. We yes. we came from nothing to having a comfortable life. And not only that, but being able to help other people. And we could have never done it without our amazing yeah. YouTube family. Mm -hmm. So we thank you guys so much. And yeah. something's asking you, Dad, if you could pray before we close this live. So I don't know how you feel about that. Would you be able to do that? Yeah, you know, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, maybe we can do that. Whenever you're ready to close or shut it down, I can have a prayer. Okay, there's someone here. My Creations by Sliz is asking. I keep asking if I can donate via a Google card. No one is responding. Sorry about that. Um. Yes, you can donate via our Super Thanks option in our channel, or you can um, send to me via the SendWave app using my name and my phone number, which is in the description box below any of my latest videos. And you can also send money via MoneyGram using his name and his phone number, which is all in his um, YouTube channel as well, if you click on there. So I think that's it. All right. I think that wraps it up. Um, we'll have a prayer and then we are going to let all these wonderful people go. Okay. All right. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this time, this day. Thank you for this moment. We thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for Sylvia and Corey and their future, and their place in Kenya. We ask your blessing to be upon us, Lord, and Becky and I, that we 
walk with you and that we can have a relationship with you that someday you're coming back for us and we just trust you and rely on your anointing in our lives Mm -hmm. cover us by your blood jesus and we just pray that you would be with each one each subscriber bless this channel bless this link that we can have 10,000 miles away lord we know that you've made africa you've made you've made the universe you've made the creation you've made everything and here we are today in 2023 and we want to just thank you that we could be glorifying your name and lift you up we just pray your blessing and covering of your blood Look down upon us. We just pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that. And God bless each one of you. Take care. Be safe. We love you guys. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you all. Peace out.